Jess again, the crafting librarian. I am going to teach you guys how to do some 3D uh, tinfoil paintings. So what you're going to need, I'm sure some of you might have Amazon boxes or boxes lying around your house, you are going to need a box. And then what you want to do is cut a piece out of that box. It can be a bigger piece than this, but for my purposes I'm just going to show you a little version. So however big you want your image to be, you're going to need glue. Elaine's glue works great. School glue works awesome. Um, I will tell you that tacky glue is a little bit better because it has a little more of a 3D effect. And that's what our aim is here. Um, if you have a glue gun, that actually works really, really well because it gets that nice rise to the glue and it keeps it that 3D kind of look. Um, and it dries really fast, which is awesome. So you have your cardboard, your glue, scissors to cut your cardboard and you need a piece of tin foil. So what we're gonna work on first, we are going to make a really pretty image on our cardboard. So you're gonna take the glue. I'm gonna go ahead and do something fairly simple and I'm going to draw a flower. So I'm gonna start by doing a circle in the middle of my piece of cardboard. Little rise to it, little depth, see that? And then I am going to do some petals. Just keep that glue going nice and continuously so you don't have choppy lines. And here are my petals. If you do get a little bit of a short line, you can always go back and add a little bit more glue. That's totally okay. All right. I'm gonna add some additional outside petals and some more right here. And do one right here, right here, here, and here. And keep in mind, you don't have to do flower. I'm just doing something fairly simple. I'm gonna give it a nice stem over here. I'm gonna go off the cardboard a little bit, totally okay. And I might give it a little leaf kind of off the side here, all right? And then if you wanna get fancy and you have more space, you can put a sun up here. Um, you can do whatever you want here. I had people do owls, which are really awesome, but for now I'm gonna focus on the flower. So now you're gonna let this sit and dry. Since I've already done one earlier this morning, this is my earlier one. You can't see it too, too well because my glue is drying fairly clear. But if you take a look here, you see that it's raised up a bit. That's what we're going for. So this is dry, I can touch it, nice and dry. I'm then gonna take my piece of tin foil. The tin foil you want to be quite bigger than your size of your cardboard. because you want it to overlap, all right? I'm gonna take my tin foil, I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I am just going to make sure that this has glue on it. So I don't wanna press down on the tin foil because I don't wanna leave lines or marks on the tin foil. So just put a little bit of glue in the center and I'm gonna use my finger and spread it around a little. I'm trying to keep that tin foil fairly flat. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. If you have a glue stick, this works much better with a glue stick but I am under limited resources. So right now I am just gonna go with the glue and spread it around nice and flat. So there's my glue. See, I didn't really mess with the tin foil too, too much. It's still fairly flat. Then I'm gonna take my image and I'm gonna put that glue part over it. And then I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of just flatten out the image here. So using that glue stick, Trying to get all the pieces of my image here. Okay, run your finger along in there. You wanna try and show all those beautiful lines that you created with your glue. So that's what I'm doing here. Nice 
nice and easy, just flattening it down and around. When you get to the end, you can carve it around your cardboard piece. Go ahead and just tuck it behind there. You can see, you see my image is starting to come out and give that 3D effect. All right, so I'm gonna put that down there. There we go, look at how awesome that's coming out. Okay. So I'm gonna fold that piece behind as well. Make sure I'm nice and flat here. And there we go. And then just go ahead and go back and make sure those lines are nice and smooth. So if you're having trouble getting your lines to come out, if you take a wet Q-tip and you just kind of go over in those images, it, uh, sorry, in those um, empty blank spaces where the glue isn't, that's gonna help kind of flatten out the tin foil and make it look really, really nice. Also, the Q-tip is much smaller than your finger, so that's gonna help make sure that the tin foil is not crinkled and really get into all those spaces there. And that really kind of gives the glue rise as it flattens out your tin foil. It makes it look really pretty. So I'm just going in here and I am making my tin foil nice and flat. And that is adding depth to my flower here. Okay, see that? Put the sun up here in the corner. And that's just making everything a lot more visible. And it's also ironing out all the wrinkles that I have in the tin foil. Just make sure that the Q-tip is wet because that just helps it glide along. Sorry, the Q-tip is wet. That makes it help glide along the tin foil better. So there we go. See, that looks much more in depth. You can see that much better. All right. And then I'm going to take the dry side and just go over it once again to try get rid of all of that water on here. Okay. And then what you can do, if you have permanent markers at home, you can use a permanent marker to kind of brighten it up a bit. I do have a red permanent marker. So I'm going to go in and just do my outline here. And I can go in and I can shade it. You can leave that empty or I can color the whole thing in. It's totally up to you. I think I'm going to leave it empty and see how the rest looks. Okay, so I'm going to go in, do the petals, and color that. And go ahead, do the petal. Nice and gentle, because you don't want to poke through the tin foil. I know that my marker is not sharp, but tin foil is fairly fragile, so I don't want to poke through it. So I'm going to just make sure that looks nice and even. Get in there pretty good. Keep on going. And we'll take a look at how this looks. So once again, I'm almost to the end here. If you have paint, this works really well with paint too. Um, you can put paint on a paper towel and kind of just rub it all over and then rub it off. And it leaves a very subtle imprint as opposed to actually using a marker. Uh, just make sure that whatever marker you do use is a permanent marker, otherwise it won't adhere to the tin foil. Okay. And that's it. Those are my petals anyway. So because I only have one color, what I can do is I can do the whole thing in red. And it'll just be a red flower. So you can do that if you want, or you can leave it just the way it is. It is entirely up to you. All right, so let's see here. I have my stem here. I have my leaves here. And I have my other leaf here. And that's pretty much 
match it. I can also, if I want to get really fancy, I can do my sun up here in this corner. This is my sun. And then I have my little rays of sunshine flow in here. I can even just do this a little, make those pop. Okay. And there you have it. If you want to get super fancy, you can get even more crazy and you can go ahead and do the outline on the outside of your petals or your design so that the only thing that's left is that tinfoil raised part. So you guys can go crazy with this. You can either leave it as it is, just that tinfoil, or you can go ahead and outline your flower. Or what you could do too is outline all the negative space. So instead of doing the flower, I can outline everything around the flower. Like I said, you can do whatever image you want. It does not have to be a flower. It can be whatever you enjoy. So for instance, that is this one. And there we go. So that is my finished product.